Welcome to Stack Solutions. My name's Anthony Stone and I'm the Director of Field Sales. And over the next five or six minutes, I want to equip you with some basic tools that are gonna help you get started. Now you're probably wondering, who am I and what qualifies me to stand before you? Well, over the last 30 years, I've run some of the most successful sales teams in publishing and in property and indeed in field sales. And in fact, you can think of me as a player manager. So I'm out there selling on a daily basis. In fact, so is Sammy. And we love selling, and that's what we do. It's in our blood. In fact, today, I made a couple of sales from just talking to people. So, let's start with point number one. Before we start selling, it's absolutely essential we have a positive mindset. Mindset is everything in this business, so we need to prepare your mind for success. Removing all negative influences from your life, from your business life, even from your personal life. Try and surround yourself with successful people. This is absolutely crucial to your success. And the first 30 days are the most important days. So if we can get some results for you, if you can go out there and prove to yourself that you can do it, that's what's important. That will give you the confidence and, and it will allow you to, to, to uh, tune yourself into a very positive mindset because you know you can do it. So prove to yourself that you can succeed. Now there are a couple of tools that I'd like to share with you that helped me many, many years ago. One is a fantastic book called The Instant Millionaire, which is a philosophical walk through a young man's life equipping him with all the basic tools that he needed to succeed. So I thoroughly recommend you, you read this book. It's gonna take you about two hours of your time, but it will help attune your mind for success. Sales is 90% mindset and 10% ability. And what I love about this business, it's a complete meritocracy. It doesn't matter where you've come from, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, whether you've got any qualifications, all you need is a burning desire to succeed. And I promise you, you will succeed. Thirty days is crucial to your success. If we can get you some sales in those first 30 days, a good volume of sales, then you will succeed. And it's all about building the momentum, pushing that boulder up the mountain. The rest will come, the rest is easy. And we all start from the same place in this business. I started there, Sammy started there, Darren started there, CJ started there. And basically that place is with no customers. So. You know, it's a daunting prospect to see an empty diary on a Monday morning. And the idea here is to fill up that diary and to fill it up very quickly. And one of the easiest and most straightforward ways by doing this is to build your business is by building a pipeline, a pipeline of leads and appointments. So how do we do that? This is a $6 million question and I believe it's the answer and the key to your success. So if I were to ask you, are you able to have three meaningful conversations a day? Yes, you heard me, just three. I think you would say yes. And quite frankly, if you're not having three meaningful conversations, you're in the wrong business. But let's assume you can do that, because I know you can, and you've been hired for a very specific reason, because we believe in your ability to have those three meaningful conversations a day. Well, what does that actually mean? What is a meaningful conversation? Well, it's an opening presentation, an opening pitch, leading to perhaps an appointment, leading to a lead or a sale. That's a meaningful conversation. Now, if you were to have just three a day, that's 15 a week, which is 60 a month. And if you're converting 35% of your 60 leads, 35% a month, that's 21 sales. Now, experienced salesmen will be converting between 50 and 60% of your leads, which is more like 40 sales. But let's just assume when you start, and your target will be 20 deals a month. That's one a day. You can do that, and you can do it from those three meaningful conversations. Don't prejudge anyone. We don't know anything about what someone's going through, what their needs are. So as you walk down the high street, do not prejudge. 
just go and speak to as many people as possible. This is a numbers game, it's pure numbers. Even if you're not very good at what you do because of the quality of our products, because they're best in class, you will get results. But guess what? You won't get the results without doing the numbers. Tap into the amazing people around you. Incredible support. I'm here to help. Like I said before, I'm a player manager. So Sammy. So we're here to help you. Darren, he's a fantastic, very, very experienced sales guy. He's He's also there to help. So we all have ups and downs. This is a roller coaster. Not every day is going to be easy. We're going to have great successes, but some days, guess what? You're not going to feel like getting out of bed. You're not going to even feel like getting out, out there. On those days, tap into the people that can help. Tap into us. My line is open. My, my, my phone is available to speak to us when you want to. Don't just sit at home uh, 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 feeling sorry for yourself or feeling crap because we all do sometimes. Reach out to the people around you. Have a strategy. What do I mean by that? It's very, very, it can be very discouraging when you open your diary on a Monday morning and you've got no one to speak to, you've got no appointments. So what we want to do is help you build up your appointments. And one of the ways to do that is obviously by building a pipeline, by having those three meaningful conversations. Now, so we want you to open your diary and have a full diary. So you, you've got three to five people to speak to on a daily basis. Now your regional director will help you plan that, will help you fill up your diary, and then you're gonna feel a lot more confident a lot, uh, and, and, and your results will come as a natural course. Point number five are referrals. It's like two different businesses. You've got the door knocking where you, you know, you're literally cold calling, walking down the high street. But very quickly, once you build up a bank of customers, even just 10, you can ask every single one of those to refer at least one, two or three people that they think they can benefit from the same uh, problem solving products that we have just sold to them. All of our products are incredibly uh, marketable because one, they're saving money and two, they're probably generating money too. And everyone at the moment wants to save money. And not only that, but we're driving customers to them in a variety of ways and therefore we're not only saving them money, but we're making them money too, which is fantastic. So referrals are the lifeblood of this business. And if you can, you know, if you can get one referral from each customer, just one, then in theory, you'll always have a, a fantastic uh, a bank of customers to go back to. Now, the reality is that not everyone will give you referrals. In fact, the 80-20 rule will apply. And if you're not familiar with that, 80% of your referrals will come from just 20% of your customers. And it's a weird thing, but it always seems to work out that way. So referrals, referrals, referrals. Uh, are the lifeblood of the business. And after a while, once you've got 50, 60, 70 uh, uh, customers, the business will take on a life of its own. And guess what? You'll be receiving calls from your customers asking you, hey, Anthony, that, you know, that great product the other day. Well, guess what? My mate, Mick down the road, he wants it as well. Go and speak to him. And that's just a wonderful, very pleasurable way of doing business. Now, before I leave you, I just want to leave you some words of wisdom from one of my role models, Muhammad Ali, the greatest, greatest sportsman of all time. And he once said, it's the repetition of aspirations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things start to happen. So guys, just go out there and smash it. And I know you can do it. You're, doing here, for, you're here for a reason, you can do it. I'm, I'm motivated by fear. Fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Period. You can't be scared 
to die for the truth. The truth is the only thing that's ever going to be constant. And you can't fear what might happen to you if you were to tell the truth. Because what happens to you if you don't tell the truth is worse than telling the truth will ever be. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. And I think psychologically the advantage that that, that gives me over, over a lot of people that I I'm, have been in competition with in different situations is it's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, exactly. the, the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, me one brick. I, I believe uh, and I learned very young that you, you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm gonna be, build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm gonna lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's gonna be laid better than this brick that I'm gonna lay in this next 10 minutes. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. And soon you have a wall. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working.